Hi friends and welcome. The time has come for the mid-February check-in. This time we're doing a little love readings for each of the zodiac signs. So welcome in. Um, lucky you, you found this video. Um, first of all, I want to mention, um, we'll, it's, it'll be two spreads. We're doing two spreads for each zodiac sign, but they're going to go very quickly. So we're going to do this all in one video. This is an all zodiac mid-month check-in, okay? Um, I wanted to call it this robe because I went thrifting the other day and sort of found it and um, I was really drawn to it by its its luxurious sort of um, presence and now it's presence in my life and I was like what the hell I think it's going to be perfect for the February love readings so that's why I'm wearing it and I feel like it's very appropriate um, I've been spending the weekend doing a little bit of self-love, just finished a Reiki self-Reiki self session. Um, drop a comment below if you want to hear about what that's like um, or what attunement, Reiki attunement is like. Um, happy to share my experience. I'm super new to it, but it was a video that I was thinking about making. So if you're into it, let me know. Um, and maybe I'll make that video or maybe I already made it and it's like floating around somewhere on the top for you to click. Anyways, let's get started. I got my notes here because I was thinking about what kind of spreads we're going to do. So first of all, the, it'll be the love readiness spread. Uh, maybe you're familiar with it, but maybe not. Just the idea that self-knowledge is the basis for all of our relationships. And so this first spread is going to address your readiness for love. How open are you? What are, what are your expectations um, around love? Uh, what are lessons you've learned from love, uh, from previous relationships? What holds you back? Is your mind ready? Is your heart ready? Is your spirit ready? Um, and then I'll ask you to think of somebody who's on your mind. Don't think too hard, just the first person and we'll do a short compatibility or what's going on between you guys in the relationship, okay? Without further ado, all right, had to let my cat out. I just gave him a bunch of catnip and closed the door and I was like, no way he's staying in this room. <laughs> um, Aquarius, we'll start with you. What does Aquarius need to know? Um, I'll try to like, recap the card positions so that you know where I'm getting these messages from. If you want to know about the spreads that I'm using, I can also animate and create um, videos around spreads and sharing the spreads that I use. If you're into that, drop a comment. All right, Aquarius, the first card came out. This is a lively reading already. Um, what do you expect from love? Six of Wands. Victory. <laughs> um, Aquarius is very feeling very hopeful about love this month. Uh, what are your lessons from love? The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, desire. Um... Previous relationships have opened have opened the door for a deeper level of desire for you, Aquarius. New opportunities for expressing desire. What's holding you back? Nine of Pentacles. You're a little bit comfortable. Comfortable luxury. What's holding you back? There's maybe just a feeling of contentment, like you already have what you need. Maybe all you have, this is maybe a self-love month for you, Aquarius. Um, is your heart ready? Seven of Swords. Oh. Is your mind ready? Oh, judgment. Is your spirit ready? Uh, four of Cups. 
Aquarius, um, you expect love to be easy. I think that you, you yourself can find a direct route to it, um, to that feeling. Um, I don't know what your shortcut is, but I, f I feel like you just, you can get yourself there. Um, you can be ready. If the question is love readiness, you're like, yeah, I can be ready. Um, however, there, pay attention to your heart, what, where your desire is and what are you actually desiring out of love at this point? Because spirit is sort of saying your higher self, this is the card of like, uh, what, how is your spirit responding to love right now? If it were to walk in the door, it's sort of saying like, there's other, there's your focus is somewhere else. Could you be ready if it came in? Yes. But I feel like you know that there's something else going on. There's something else needing to be addressed in your heart here. Okay, Aqua. Who's your person? You're showing up as true love. The romance of a lifetime. They're showing up as make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Uh, the basis for your relationship, flirt. The current reality of your relationship, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And the future, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah. So if you jump into love um, with this person right now, without healing something that needs to be resolved for yourself first, um, whether or not you feel like this is true love, I think that it is. If they're not making the effort, it's because they recognize also the work you need to do. And maybe they've got their own work too. This codependency could go either way. There's like better separate than together for now. Okay, Aqua. Okay, Pisces is up next. Pisces, your love readiness. Let's go. What do you want out of love? What are you expecting in your ideal partner? The three of wands. Growth. Expanding horizons. Adventure. Um, what is a lesson learned from previous relationships? Eight of Wands, maybe taking things a little too fast. Communication is important, maybe, is what you learned in previous relationships. Communication is key. What's holding you back? Ten of Wands. Taking on too much. Too much, too fast, is what I'm getting, Pisces. Uh, is your heart ready? The world. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think your heart's ready. Uh, is your mind ready? The wheel. When the world and the wheel are here back to back, that's intense. Is the spirit ready? Nine of wands. The spirit is, is there is a, there is a lesson for you to learn Pisces around love. Absolutely. You have a karmic lesson around love. The heart is, your heart center is ready to move on. The mind knows, understands that cycles show up like different person, same pattern. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, again, this is just a love readiness. How prepared, I'm, I'm judging, I'm not judging. <laughs> I'm sensing how prepared Pisces feels right now if love were to walk in the door. Okay. And so I'm getting overall, yes, prepared, but also like it feels like a lot of work. Um, you, your, your aim, your, your, your vision is on expansion, on growing, on self growth through love. And so you probably feel a lot of connection when you 
communicate with somebody that you love or when you communicate with a partner. You're definitely leaving something behind. If there was a lesson learned, um, you feel like your heart has learned the lesson, it's ready to love again. There's a new beginning or something is coming to an end. Both happen sometimes simultaneously and sometimes there's like a period in between. Is the mind ready? You have the wheel. The mind knows that when the right person shows up and it's faded, that person will walk in at the exact right time. And spirit says, <laughs> I'm getting the sense of like, I'm sort of tired of waiting because again, your, your mind is set on growth and you grow through relationship and communication with others, with a partner. You really like, I think, vibe with that. So spirit's like, yeah, when is this gonna, person gonna come in? Okay, um, Pisces, think of somebody on your mind. Don't think too hard, just the first person who comes to mind. You're showing up as attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoy, enjoying this moment fully. They're showing up as deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. The basis of the relationship, pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. This totally feels like what I said earlier about same pattern, different person for you Pisces. Um, currently, what's going on between you and this person? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. Nope. Um, the future outcome is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I definitely don't get the sense that this is with this particular person that you're thinking of. Um, engagement, I think here, if we're talking about commitment, um, you need to commit to your own personal growth here. Love your, this is the self-love Pisces. You don't need other people for as bouncing boards, I don't think. You, you need to realize that like when your life, the experience of your life and who you let into your life um, is incredibly precious and very important. Who you let in, because um, there's red flags here. I don't know if you see them or maybe you like had a feeling and so you wanted to know more about this person. I'm here to tell you, don't do it. Don't do it. The lessons are yours alone. Other people aren't going to help you uh, close out this cycle for yourself. I just noticed that it's like you got the eight, nine, and ten of wands. Also, the world and the wheel. There's something incredibly karmic, um, faded about this. Lots of lessons here. Also lots of fire. It's all wands. So uh, fire is our willpower. Also desire. Um, how do you use that energy in your life, Pisces? Fire is not water. You're water. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, that's for you, Pisces. Moving on. Who's next? Aries. Welcome to the party, Aries. Let's check out your love readiness. Aries, what are you expecting from love right now? What do you expect? What do you want? Six of Wands, just like Aqua. Aqua wants a victory. Aries wants a victory. What are your past lessons around love? Four of Swords. Hmm. Contemplation. Um, they really make you think, huh? Um, what's the next one? What's holding you back? Eight of Wands. Communication. No communication with the person. Um, or maybe you're not communicating your feelings. Or maybe they aren't. 
I'm going to say this is you. I mean, this is your energy, right? This is your readiness. What are you not saying, Aries? Um, I'm also getting, sorry, like a, um, an intuitive sense of like the four of swords and the position of what have you learned from other relationships is that um, you need to take a rest. Like maybe you've, maybe you've been single for a while, needing to rest from past relationships, like really being affected by by that. All right, Aries, uh, is your heart ready for love? The hermit. Oh, I don't know. Let's keep going. Is your mind ready for love? Four of Cups. Is your spirit ready for love? Five of Pentacles. Okay. With the hermit in the heart position, is your heart ready? It's almost like it's the only thing you have right now. You know how to follow your heart, Aries. You have a center about you that is illuminating everything that you do. But I do feel that you are going through a difficult period right now. And so the heart is not the priority, as in, Offering your heart to others is not the priority because your heart right now, its only job is to illuminate your path, your spiritual path, your, um, well, I want to say emotional path. Like it's, you're trying to figure out how to bring yourself into alignment because we have the four of cups as is your mind ready? I don't think your mind can pay attention to anything beyond what's going on in your life at this moment. If this resonates for you, maybe there's just like a difficult situation and you're not even thinking about love. And yet you still want a victory. Of course, we all want to be loved. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Aries, think of somebody who's on your mind. Don't think too hard, just pick somebody. You're showing up as love yourself first. Yeah. We knew that. We just read that. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Phew, we are recording. I had to check that out. Um, how are they showing up? Let go of control issues. Okay. So somebody really wants your attention, Aries. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yeah. Um, you might be feeling the pressure um, to reach out to this person, let them know that you're thinking about them or that you care um, because they, you have maybe a sense that they are, they need to know what's going on with you. They need to let go of control issues. What is the basis of this relationship? worth waiting for <laughs> oh my god that's so sweet divine timing is at work in your love life Aries you got to work through some stuff oh man what's the current reality honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together okay I mean Valentine's is coming up so maybe there's a chance for a brief connection um Aries um, and I would say if that's the case, like use that opportunity to address this eight of wands here, um, in the what's holding you back position, use this moment to say something that's important about what's going on in your life. If you care about this person, future, the future outcome, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so listen, like control issues, when somebody has control issues, um, even if they love you very much, if they have control issues, that love does not feel like love. It feels like, um, it feels very heavy. It, I'll just say that. So if you're cross-watching for Aries right now, 
and you love Aries and, and you're like, yep, I know I need to let them do their thing and like, and you're the one who needs to let go of control issues, the message for you of it is safe for you to love means how can you, I'll just say this, how do you practice staying open to this relationship, not closing yourself off by saying like, oh, Aries is like not, they're not here for me right now, so I'm going to close this, I'm going to close myself off from them. It is safe for you to live. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. I'm here for you, whether or not you're wherever you are. I feel like that's a little bit of more that universal flavor of love, but it's what Aries needs right now. Aries just needs um, to know that you'll be there for them. Um, it's so important. They're really working through some stuff. And the basis of the relationship, by the way, again, is worth waiting for. You both know it's worth waiting for. The good shit doesn't come fast. It comes slow. And on that note, the Eight of Wands, um, also meaning very fast, um, could, could mean that uh, what's holding you back, as in not wanting to take things too fast as well. That could be another potential message of that card for Aries. Oh my goodness, all my cards are flipped around. Who's next? Taurus, 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 what is your readiness for love, Taurus? How are you showing up? The Two of Pentacles. What the Two of Pentacles is what you expect from love, huh? Well, it's not the Two of Cups, but the Two of Pentacles in this case does have like the lemniscate, right? And so that is um, our connection to the universe. That is something incredibly auspiciously um, connected. So um, I'll say for Taurus, what you expect is a little bit of this um, out of this world, like an out of this world spiritually guided 3D connection. That's what Taurus wants out of love. Past lessons from relationships. High priestess. Wisdom. Seeking higher knowledge, higher wisdom. Maybe it's like literally opening your third eye chakra, Taurus. Love has, a, has the capacity to wake us up. Especially if, Taurus, you're dealing with like a twin flame situation. High Priestess is also about um, secrets, like our se the secret knowledge of the universe. It feels so, so um, esoteric, Taurus. Is what I'm getting. Also, two, two. There's something very esoteric about this reading. What's holding you back? Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Contentment. Uh, Taurus, this is you. This is your energy. And sometimes we do get in our own way. Very, I'm getting like a very pampered, very comfortable sort of um, feeling from you, Taurus. Um, you might be so focused on your own self-care, how you look. You're closing, you, you might close yourself off from like a meaningful connection. Um, does that make sense? Like, how are you connecting with somebody if you're just focused on your looks or like you spend all your time in the bathroom doing up your makeup instead of like sitting face to face with this person who, you know, that's, that's sort of what I'm getting is like the, the nine of cups. Uh, is your heart ready? Eh, justice. Huh. You'll get what's yours. I think that's how you, that's why you're taking a back seat. You're like, 
I deserve somebody, I'll, I'll get what I deserve is sort of what I'm getting with, with Taurus. You're a very loyal person. You deserve a loyal heart. The heart knows. So yeah. Um, is your mind ready? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. You've got your mind on the long... Your mind is set on the long term. Long term. Future goals. Marriage, probably. Family, starting a family. Is what you're thinking about. Uh, is the spirit ready? How's your spirit hanging in there? Uh, Queen of Cups. So yeah, I'd say so. I'd say you're totally ready for this. If you don't already have it. Although I, I was thinking that this was like a singles... Um, I was thinking that this was like a, I don't know, like a, yeah, like a singles love readiness sort of, um, reading, but with Taurus, I get the sense that this is already sort of in your life, or maybe you get the sense that it is. Anyway, think of somebody, Taurus, who you got in your life. Don't think too hard. You're showing up as pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. They're showing up as new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. <gasps> Basis of the found ba uh, the foundation of the relationship. Make an effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Uh oh. Um the current reality stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance in the future keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations okay i'm really getting with taurus i don't know what your current <laughs> i can't sense what the current status of taurus is if they're single or if they're married, or if they're in the process of a divorce, because this is what I'm feeling is like there's, um, it's like you were married before, so you're maybe this is what this um, nine of cups is about. This like you're you you're you've been here before. It's something you've done before, Taurus. You've met somebody potentially who has somebody new who has taking you into a deeper level of commitment for sure um which is why it's showing up like that in this in in a, in a singles love read is because your heart is saying it's available <laughs> taurus you thought you were taken and yet a better opportunity has come along okay Who's next? Gemini. Let's see Gemini's love readiness on the table. Queen of Pentacles. You expect exactly you you I get it's like Gemini wants the love fairy tale. It's like the love that we all try imagine in our minds like the idealistic um it provides, right? Um interesting. I'm getting white picket fence sort of feelings about this, Gemini. What are your previous lessons? The devil. Hmm. Who hurt you, Gemini? What's holding you back? King of Wands. <sighs> Gemini, I'm getting the sense that whatever happened in your previous relationships, you felt maybe a bit manipulated by a person who has hurt you. Is your heart ready? The lovers. Is your mind ready? High Priestess. Spirit ready. 
Yeah, okay. So you've definitely got some soul searching to do, Gemini, because what I'm getting from this reading in particular is that you still have a very ideal, idealistic um, version of love um, that you seek out. And um, when we enter relationships, they do require a lot of work. They're never idealistic and definitely not um, you know, this is like hyper romantic and not very realistic sort of view of love here. And so the lovers in the heart position here says two things. One, there's a choice to be made. The heart needs to choose. Am I going to, yeah, um, open myself up to love again? It seems like that you've been, been hurt by something um, pretty significant, I'd say. Um, or are you going to, um, choose to give that love to yourself? Because the lovers is actually not about love. Ers. It's about our inner dualities and love, you know, loving both sides of ourselves. They're mirrors. People we love are mirrors for us because what we see in them and love about them is what we have in us that we maybe sometimes don't recognize what we hate about other people or what we what what triggers us about other people right that tells us that tells us more about us than what that person is actually doing it's like the lovers are that kind of mirror so is my heart ready i think you've got to hold up that mirror and the hermit is saying that too in the soul position soul searching is the mind ready we have the high priestess. I don't think the mind knows what it knows about love. That's what I'm getting for you, Gemini. I think you need to ask some really pointed questions about what is love. Okay. Um, pick somebody in your mind. Does, does, don't think too hard about it. Just anybody in your mind that you love. Or you want to look into somebody's relationship. You're showing up as it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. So maybe maybe you can do a little bit of heart opening meditation or something like that. Understanding when it's safe to love, like opening back up. Um, this is just a message from the cards saying it's safe to do that. So maybe this person is a good person. Uh, they are showing up as give your relationship a chance. They want to work on it. They want to work with you. The basis of the relationship. Passion. Oh, Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Passionate relationship. Way to go. Well, that's why the devil is here and the king is here. The king of wands, I mean, sorry. A lot of passion in both of those. Um, the current... The current reality, codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Hmm. There's a lot to work through there, isn't there? They're willing to do it. They're willing to do it if you're ready to open up and, and maybe work through some things there, Gemini. And the future? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah, you know, this sometimes it's about getting stuff out of us, acknowledging when 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 people come together that they want to listen, creating a safe space, and then enjoy your time in that space, in that nice, um, safe bubble. Somebody who wants to understand is the person you're thinking of. So um, it is safe for you to love. Okay, Cancer is next. All right, let's see Cancer's readiness for love.
third time, we get the Six of Wands showing up as, what do you want out of love? Success. That just tells me Cancer just wants to be loved right now. You want success in love. What is success in love? What is a victory in love? Um, show me past lessons from relationships. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. Ten of Pentacles is like the legacy card. It's like familial influence. Um, so maybe you've already met the person that you felt like would go the distance and it didn't. So this is, an, and this is influencing your ability, your readiness for love currently. What's holding you back? Ten of wands. Ooh, there's a lot going on in your life. You got two tens. Um, that cycles. It's, it feels like a bit of overwhelm, honestly, Cancer. Um, you got other stuff going on. You still want love, but let, you know. Let's just keep going. Is your heart ready? Two of Cups. Yeah. The heart wants to give itself to somebody equal, willing, and worthy. That's what success is, right? Is the mind ready? The lovers. Interesting. The, you know, the two of cups and the lovers here are like the two sort of like lovers cards. So I'm going to say that Cancer, like your, your mind is ready, yes. Or the mind, get, lovers was originally the choice card, so maybe there's a choice to be made. Make up your mind around, are you going to go for this or, or what? What is the overwhelm here? Why is this such, why does it feel like such a burden? What burden is holding you back, Cancer? Let's see here. Um, is the spirit ready? The Knight of Cups, yeah. Knight of Cups is like wanting to offer love, taking, it's very, very slow, but the spirit is saying, I will make my move when I'm ready. And what's holding you back is you've got just a lot of other stuff going on. Okay, cancer passed the test, the readiness test, um, sort of. Um, let's uh, think of somebody, cancer, and just hold them in your mind. How are you showing up to this relationship? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Oh. For a previous lesson, you have the ten of... Hmm. Okay. Um, how are they showing up? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. They're ready to commit, for sure. You feel the connection. Two of Cups is the soulmate card. That was in the position of, is your heart ready? I think your heart is ready. I think you know there's a connection for sure. It comes down to, is there a decision going to be made? The other person, they're ready to commit. What is the basis of this relationship? New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay. The basis is somebody somebody new. Um, what about the current reality? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. Staying positive. New love, okay. Future. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, so this is what I was thinking about the Ten of Pentacles from earlier, just really quick, because it it is like the family and the legacy card. So if Cancer wants success and is carrying also these past lessons from, I was going to say, a previous life, I mean, maybe there's something karmic about this because I do see the Two of Cups here. Um, it's very, 
in, in soulmates, you know, we have many soulmates in our lives and they're not all romantic, but this one is. Uh, this one is. So optimism is sort of saying here, yeah, if someone is, it's, it's funny, it says reconciliation, an old person and a new person. So maybe this is something from the past that is now just resurfacing and it feels new. Um, and it's saying to stay optimistic. Okay, soulmate. Somebody is ready to commit to cancer once they can deal with whatever this Ten of Wands is, this burden. There's some sort of burden. But you want victory. All right. Who's next? Leo. Leo. What's Leo's love readiness? The Knight of Cups. Uh, the Knight of Cups is very romantic. Leo, you're expecting love to be a show. Very romantic. Past lessons for Leo. Two of Cups. Leo, you've already given your heart away to somebody. Very romantic gestures. What's holding you back? The Five of Swords. Oh. Did you win that war? The love war? I'm gonna guess no. I think someone broke your heart, Leo. Um, is your heart ready for new love? Um, the Nine of Cups. Is your mind ready? Page of Wands. Yeah, okay. Is the spirit ready? Three of Wands. Uh, yeah. The heart wants to play it safe, okay? But I think that you know that you need to get back out there. You're, you're ready to um, enjoy life and all that it has to offer. Um, Spirit is saying, you need to grow beyond what has happened to you. I feel like you did offer your heart to somebody um, that you really cared deeply for, and it didn't pan out exactly. So... Just know that, yeah, your heart, your heart's not in, your heart is wanting to protect itself, I think. But the mind and the spirit say, go for it. There's a brand new, there's a brand new, there's so much out there and so many people that you can, um, so many people to meet, so many fish in the sea. That's what I got, which is perfect for Leo, right? Cats eat fish. Anyway, this card jumped out, so I'm going to take it. Um, how you're showing up. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So whoever you're thinking about, um, you need to, I think, release expectations of what is going to happen between you and this person. How are they showing up? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. That tells me you don't know who this person is because you're over here thinking, I think, still thinking about your heart belongs to somebody else. Like I already gave it away, so I don't have it anymore, but you are ready for the next chapter of your life. They are calling in somebody just like you. They are, they are trying to manifest you. So the I think the moment you let go of control issues, of any expectations of um, who you might meet or what your, what your next, what your, who your person might be, the universe will guide you together. What is the basis, the foundation of this relationship? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Uh, you might meet 
on Valentine's Day. I mean, honeymoon, I just take that as like a holiday card. So Valentine's being the next holiday, but maybe while you're on a trip or traveling or the next time you're on holiday, on vacation, you might meet this person. Um, currently, children. Your love life is being affected by children. Interesting. You know, children is like playful. This could be referring to inner child work. Maybe this person has children. Um, maybe you're, um, you know, a nanny or a sitter or a tutor and you work with children. Well, however that resonates. Um, something about children here. The future outcome. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so there's like a couple things happening. There's either meeting them while traveling, um, something to do with children, and I did talk about like work a moment ago, so like maybe you work with children legitimately. Um, or you're doing the work around your inner child um, maybe that takes you on a, a bit of a holiday or a vacation from your day-to-day, -day, um, you know, in this, like, attempt to free oneself, feel more free, let go of control issues, and, and then this person shows up. So, could be literal, could be just, you know, like I described, very loose and more energetic, but take it how it resonates. Who's next? Would that be Virgo? Let's do Virgo. Just going down the line. <clears throat> How's Virgo showing up to love? What is your ideal love? Six of Pentacles, something that feels like equal give and take. Reciprocity is important to a Virgo. As in, each person provides an important part piece of the puzzle. Uh, a past lesson from your relationship, the Emperor. That's Aries, that's fire energy, that's initiative. What's holding you back? Seven of Cups. Options. Interesting. So you, Virgo knows that they need to take initiative to get what they want. They, it's like they know it when they see it, but there's like a lot of options. Hmm. Confusion. Virgo's just a little confused right now. Uh, is your heart ready? Uh, six of Cups. Uh, looks like the heart is a little bit nostalgic about something. Looking at some happy memories. The heart, I don't know if the heart's ready. Is the mind ready? We have the Eight of Cups. <sighs> That's going to be a no for me. Eight of Cups is when we leave, we have to leave behind a, a, a painful, an emotionally painful situation to go within and to assess like what happened here. Um, notice the progression six, seven, eight of Cups. And I'm shuffling constantly, you see me. Is the soul ready for love? Eight of Wands. Um, that's Cupid Zero. So your higher self is saying, love is out there. But right now, I think Virgo is wallowing um, a little bit, um, maybe in a situation where something was offered to Virgo, but they did not take initiative, which led to confusion. And now this is like a missed opportunity. Well, the benefit is that you can always change, right? You can't, you, now you know you need to take a little bit more initiative when it comes to love. 
Um, but it, right now it does look like you're just dwelling on what had happened on this lesson, you know. Okay, Virgo, think of somebody in your life that you want to know more about. Don't think too hard, just first person. Say their name out loud. You're showing up with romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So that's what we're exploring, Virgo. All right. So with the Six of Cups, you might be thinking about somebody from your past and realizing that your feelings for this person are deeper than what you originally realized. And now you're exploring that. The Eight of Cups, the mind is like trying to explore, like, what are these feelings? Confusion. This all makes sense. Uh, how are they showing up? Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Interesting. So somebody with control issues around something. They maybe want to. Hmm. Maybe they're. They, maybe they want to. Yeah, just control things, like get right to the center of it, the heart of the issue, and yet your heart is still sort of like trying to understand where it's at, honestly. Hmm. It's almost like they're trying to pull you out of whatever it is you're going through, Virgo. I feel like there's two different people here, Virgo. What is the basis of this relationship that you're thinking about right now? Wedding. Okay. The situation involves marriage. You might be getting married to somebody or think about getting married to somebody or are in a relationship where you know like this is the person I'm going to be with and yet your heart is stuck in the past somewhere. What is the current reality? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. I mean, is this person... Is this person really providing you, because what you want is the Six of Pentacles, is this person really providing you with, with what you need? Or are you just receiving love for the sake of, I want love, here it is, this person's offering it to me, I can give them love too. But like, what else is there? I feel like there's something deeper here that's missing from this connection. What is the future outcome? <clears throat> Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Yeah, I definitely get there's two different people here. Virgo, you're about to tie the knot with somebody who's not even your soulmate. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Libra. Libra's next. Alrighty. Where are my Libras at? Come to the table. All the Libras. Will you please stand up? What do you want out of love, Libra? Don't tell me you don't know. The Knight of Wands. All right. All right. You want love to feel brave, like an adventure, like it's bold, like it makes you alive, honestly. The Knight of Wands is also about desire. So there has to be something with Libra. There has to be a clear spark of passion there. If it ain't there, you're waffling, I feel like. All right, what is the past lesson for Libras? The moon. Yeah, well, the moon is everything that is our subconscious. It's our fears. It's the things that, the fears and the unknown that reside in the subconscious mind.
So maybe being in previous relationships, Libras have, have, things have surfaced or going through the experience of previous relationships has, has brought up a lot of things needing to be healed within themselves. Uh, what about what's holding you back, Libra? The chariot. <clears throat> yeah, so Libra, the message for you is you need to learn how to get vulnerable. Because we have the moon here, right? And that's all about the subconscious. It's our fears. It's like the stuff, the shadowy stuff that we don't really like to talk about or show anybody. But that's actually what's holding you back. Now, maybe not those things existing, but um, that duality, that other part of you uh, that you don't like to show, to show anyone, that is going to be, um, I think, a requirement to move forward in some sort of like deep, connected, passionate bond with somebody else. All right, is your, is your heart ready? Well, the cards just did a major reordering of themselves. I felt that. Is your heart ready? Three of wands. It's ready. Is your mind ready? What is that? Oh, the nine of swords. Nope, the mind is freaking out a little bit. You're, you're still afraid here of something. Is the spirit ready? How is your higher self saying to love if it walked in the door? The tower earth shattering spirit is saying sudden change so yeah this is going to be um or maybe your spirit is going through a change Maybe that's why the mind is nervous. The heart is feeling more and more aligned, like it's ready to go. The heart's in the right place, the mind is not. Those things are coming into alignment. As things come into alignment, Libra, balance, your soul is evolving, changing, suddenly. And so this might feel like a tender time for Libra. Um... I'm feeling like I want this deep connection, but how do I even begin to explain the depths of what it is I'm experiencing? Interesting. Okay, um, Libra, think about somebody in your mind. Say their name out loud. Don't think twice. Flirt. You're showing up as flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay. Opening the door. How are they showing up? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So, <clears throat> uh, you're, you're playing very cool, very coy. And this other person, like, is, I think, really into it. They're, they're ready to commit. Or they're thinking about you as the real deal. And you're showing up as flirt. So there's a little bit of a disconnect here. Um, I feel like that's why you're showing up as flirt because what's holding you back actually is this uh, openness, this uh, vulnerability, this um, this more transparency I think is needed from you, Libra. What's the basis of this relationship? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Interesting. So you might be um, having an experience with somebody who you don't see as long-term potential. You're just flirting with them. You're having a bit of fun. Uh, but they don't see the same thing in you. So you might need to come around or something. Uh, what's the current reality? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This feels like the beginning of something. It's also a reminder to take your time. Yeah, flirting isn't just about a um, not having genuine or long-term thoughts. 
just, you're, you're keeping it light. You're keeping it light, exploring the romantic feelings. See where the edges of the thing are. What is the future outcome for Libra? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah. Keep an open, open mind. Work on your partnership. Find the edges, Libra, so that you know when you and your person are aligned and wanting the same things. Right now, it's like you want two different things. Uh, you do have to work to get perspectives into alignment here. Um, where does it say? So the tower energy also reminds me of your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. That's like the sudden realization as well as just like, oh, this was not what I expected, but let's give it a try, right? Okay. I like that, Libra. Who's next, Scorpio? Let's do it, Scorps. All right, Scorpio, how are you showing up to your love relationship? What are, what do you want out of love? What is your most idealistic, ideal partner? What do you want from them? The queen of swords. He wants someone who's gonna be honest and compassionate. The Queen of Swords is an amazing energy. I love her so much. She knows how to use truth in a way that is compassionate. Truth is compassion. This is like, the Queen of Swords to me is like the idea of the liberated relationship. It's, truth is freedom, right? Okay. Um, what is a past lesson, Scorpio? The moon again. So again, stuff rising, um, rising to the surface, things needing to be met with compassion and clarity. That makes sense why you want the Queen of Swords. Because um, the sword cuts through all of that. Okay, uh, what's holding you back? Three of Cups. Oh, there's another person involved. Is your heart ready? Um, six, sorry, why did I say six? Um, nine of cups, nine of cups is, is your heart ready? <sighs> With the position this person is in, I feel like nine of cups is, I'm good where I am. The heart doesn't know what to do. It's almost, I have the feeling like frozen, in shock, maybe. Um, is your mind ready? High priestess, seeking the wisdom, the knowledge, wanting to know what's going on. Your mind, yes, is ready. Is your spirit ready? The Four of Pentacles. I think that that's a well, interesting um, sort of take on that. Is the spirit, how does your higher self respond to love if it were to show up? The Four of Pentacles. Um, you know, that's the energy of like greediness, but like. You know what the word is? It feels like, I, I've heard this a lot recently, spiritual, um, oh, please someone help me. Spiritual bypassing. Like if this person is, is a spiritual person and, and really invigorates um, 
or rather like, I don't know if this is about a, now you're going to think about a specific person. This is your readiness for love. Spiritually, I think you are ready and willing, uh, but you need to um, be aware of when sp you are spiritually linking to a, to a person that you love um, as a means of spiritual bypassing of like not doing the work yourself. The mind, I think that you're a very inquisitive person and you, and you seek knowledge, but the heart is sort of like frozen. All right, that's Scorpio. Um, think about a person, don't think twice. Let's look into your relationship with them right now. You are showing up as worth waiting for. Divine timings at work in your love life. Yeah, you're holding out. That's probably what this Four of Pentacles is. Spiritually, you're still connected to something. Uh, they're showing up as separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. Yeah. What's holding you back? A third part, like three of cups. It's like you have your eyes set on somebody who isn't available to you, Scorpio. What is the basis of this relationship? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So one or both of you are going through a lot of changes right now. Or getting to know each other. Again, the high priestess is here, um, which is like the yin energy of you know like the divine feminine as well showing up a little bit and in the terms of wisdom and intuition so it's like the word no is really no no like kno is <laughs> k-n-o-w is like really sticking to my mind for some reason what do you know or not know uh, maybe there's something you don't know here Current reality, release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. Oh, Scorpio, it's no, it's no, like N-O, no. Release your ex. Okay, what is the future outcome? Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Hmm, okay, so whatever person you're holding on to here, um, spiritually, um, that's maybe what this high priestess is, is also connecting. Like maybe there's like some sort of like, um, deeper connection that is not romantic, but rather, um, more intuitive, sort of like, um, you know, like a spiritual soulmate of some sort, because there's a very, very strong connected energy from, in your response from your, from your spirit self, Scorpio. Um, but it does look like there's somebody else um, around. There might be somebody else around this person that you have your eye on. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what do you want out of love? What is your ideal love? What are the traits that you look for? Sagittarius. Two of Cups, yeah. You want somebody you can just be your authentic self with. You want to goof off with them. You want to you want to be honest with them. Somebody who just understands you. You don't have to explain yourself. What are what is a past lesson you've learned? The Page of Swords. Hmm. Messages. Hmm. The Page of Swords, uh, you know, he's the hero of the tarot as well. Like, the kind of energy where, like, I think of the Page of Swords like knowledge is power. His intelligence says, I'm not making the same mistake twice. And that's empowering, right? He says, I know what to do in the face of the tower moment. 
So I do get the sense that, Sag, you've been burned in previous relationships to the point of like, I know I'm not, like you're looking for the red flags already. You're like, I'm not gonna do that again. Uh, what's holding you back? Ace of Cups. A new beginning? How is that holding you back? You know, the Ace of Cups is also when we think of like when our cup is over full, overflowing, like you need to give yourself the love that you seek in others. Ace of Cups. Give that new beginning. For that new beginning to happen, you need to do it for yourself. Maybe you need to open up your heart again or something. I love that there's a bird on here. You can't see it. I'm not really holding up cards today because it's such a fast thing, but look almost looks like a he's not on fire, but it is a bird that looks like sort of like the phoenix rising. Rebirth. An emotional rebirth for Sag. Is your heart ready? The sun. Yeah, you're you're being optimistic. The heart is optimistic. You're always seeking love. You know it's out there. Uh, is your mind ready? Queen of Swords. Yeah. Your mind's ready, but cautious. And is your spirit ready? The hangman. <laughs> oh. You know, the hangman is like trying to get a new perspective on things. Um, willing to be uncomfortable to make progress, right? Two steps forward, one step forward, two steps back. So yeah, overall, I, I'd say you're ready. I think you've definitely learned some lessons from the past. It's making you very cautious. Um, but at the same time, you it looks like if you can open yourself up to new love, the possibility of new love and remain optimistic about it, you're ready. You're good to go. You're good to know. Good to know? You're good to know and good to go. Um, okay, Sag, think about as somebody in your mind and we'll look into your relationship. You're showing up as children. <laughs> your love life is being affected by children. So this, um, either you have children and, and, um, it's maybe hard to find or it's maybe more difficult to have a new beginning when you have, you know, um, literal humans from a previous relationship running around. Um, that might be the case. Or just think about your inner child and like your past experiences and how that is, might be strongly influencing how you're showing up right now. Uh, this might be about this past lesson, Sag. How is this person showing up for you for love? Wedding. The situation involves marriage. They want to get married. Yep. What is the basis for this relationship? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Hmm. Uh, sorry. Um, Sag, maybe you want children. Maybe you want children and this person wants to get married. Maybe you both are, are on the same page. The basis of the relationship is love yourself first. So uh, did you find each other on some sort of common ground of self-respect or maybe similar healing journeys or something like that? Similar lessons in life, um, similar boundaries around similar things. What is the current reality? past life relationship you have known each other before that's so funny because i was just saying like it's good to know you you're good to go you're good to know or something like that hmm you may have known each other in a past life that's so crazy and now you finally get to be together hmm so if this is a past life relationship and the basis of it is love yourself first in previous iterations of your uh, union or coming together, uh, maybe you didn't have the opportunity to have children or get married and your lesson was more about loving yourself first 
and if you've both graduated um, to that level and are bringing that to the table, now you can have your cake and eat it too. All right, what's the future outcome? Oh, codependency. I hate when this card comes out. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. Okay, so, you know, past life relationships, at the very least, that just means it's a karmic thing. We, we, the karmic relationships, they don't have to be, like, the same person. They could be, like, different person, same pattern. That's the same karma, though. And um, <clears throat> that does bring me back to this original idea of uh, your inner child, children. What does that mean to you? What is it about your past, your upbringing, that is affecting this current relationship? Um, it, it has something to do with um, how you love yourself. How can you show up properly for this person who wants to marry you and show you that they're committed if you can't give that to yourself first? So I think that if you, if you continue down this road without learning this lesson, it will turn to um, an unhealthy um, thing. I think it's something you can for sure work on, obviously. Like, we're here to work on ourselves always. I'm just show, you know, expressing what the cards say, the narrative that the cards present. Okay, and last but not least, we're on Capricorn. Okay. Capricorn, how are you showing up for love right now? Let's see. Capricorn, what do you expect from love right now? We have the Six of Swords. Okay. Uh, Capricorn is just looking for some peace and, and stability. The Six of Swords is um, definitely a transition. It's about moving onward. Um might be um, looking for love in places where um, Capricorn did not previously look for love, sort of like that, because it is sort of a very a journey-esque sort of card where the current situation is not so good. So you're moving on to find calmer waters. Um, calmer waters also may exist where you've not been before. Um, so that's what the Six of Swords is really saying here. Um, and that way it says uh, you want something new that it, that is calmer than what you've previously experienced. Um, what is a previous relationship lesson for Capricorn? Uh, the Strength card. I'm just remembering also that Capricorn's... Um, February reading was all about like shifting social circles. This is definitely in line with that. Okay, so Capricorn's lesson is strength. Finding compassion for oneself in the face of fear. It's also about opening the heart space. The lesson is being open. Um... I want to say to love, yeah. Be, being open to love even when it's scary. Uh, what's holding you back? Ace of Cups again. Yes. So similar to Sag, you need to fill your own well right now. Is your heart ready? No, the heart is confused. Lots of options. It's the Seven of Cups. At the very least, it's just the heart is confused. The heart's very confused right now. What about the mind? Is the mind ready? The Queen of Wands. Yeah, I'd say the mind is ready. How is the spirit responding? 
Five of Pentacles. Okay, so I find that the, the strongest element here for Capricorn is definitely the mind. Uh, the mind is very powerful and the mind can manifest. And with the Queen of Wands, her power um, is really her own will power, right? Her, her ability to, to just create things. It's a very creative force. It's very, you know, it's fire, it's uh, passion, desire. And so the mind is aligning with that which Capricorn wants, for sure. The heart is confused and the spirit is saying, I need help, <laughs> essentially. So, um, yeah, I do think, with especially with the Ace of Cups being in the position of what's holding you back right now, as I think there's something, there's definitely an alignment needing to happen here uh, between the mind, uh, the heart, and spirit as well. Okay, Capricorn. Um, but at least you have the lesson of compassion here. So you know how to take care of yourself, and I think you're going to be fine. Um, Capricorn, think about somebody in your mind's eye. Say their name out loud. And let's take a look at what's going on. How are you showing up right now for your relationship? Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. The Queen of Wands is here. Passion. Like I said, it's the strongest. It was the strongest element here. Capricorn's definitely feeling passionate about somebody. How are they showing up? Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay, so a karmic sort of thing. That's why there's this, maybe, uh, this this deep connection here. Or maybe that's why Capricorn's feeling a lot of passion. Either way, this other person, whether they know it or not, um, or you know it or not, is somebody, this is a karmic thing again, showing up for you. So this is a, this could be a lesson, Capricorn. What is the basis of the relationship? Codependency. There's the lesson. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, what is the current reality? Separation. And what is the future outcome? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay. Um, such is life. When we feel very strongly about something, we tend to put all of our eggs into that one basket. That can very quickly become a codependent sort of relationship. Um, the, the benefit of the, or I guess the positive thing of this for Capricorn looks like Capricorn is doing the work. Um, and at the same time, your passion or your, um, yeah, like your strong feelings about this person um, will become validated at some point. Like you'll get it in the future. It says express your love. You'll get a chance to express how, how you feel, even though right now you're in separation because what's happening is you're dealing with these codependency issues that you or both of you have. Okay. Well, guys, that has been the love readings for the month of February. I try to make them short as possible, but I had to like stop and start recording a, a few times. So I hope that by the end of it all and when it's reaching your eyeballs, that it still looks and sounds pretty consistent throughout. Um, feel free to share the video with somebody you want to check out um, their reading. Um, I will say, and I forgot to say this at the beginning, was check out your sun and your Venus sign. Your sun and your Venus sign. And um, what else? I don't know. Um, have a good night. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.